Have you asked or ever been asked what the best Battlefield game was? Most of the time you'll probably get the answer of Battlefield 3 or 4 and I can't deny the fact that those games were revolutionary and are definitely one of my top three. But every time I have a conversation about this with my friends, I'll throw Bad Company 2 into the mix. And immediately, majority of my friends will switch their answers and say that yes, Bad Company 2 was the best Battlefield game to this day. But sadly, things do get old and they die out. And a few weeks ago, Dyson EA notified us, letting us know that they'll be shutting down the servers permanently at the end of April this year for both Bad Company 2 and 1943. I first started playing Battlefield 1942 and for a while I took a break and I didn't play any other Battlefield games like Battlefield 2 or 2142. But shortly after I got my PS3, I somehow found that EA and DICE ended up having an open beta for Bad Company 2, where you actually played on Port Valdez on the game mode Rush. And I must have put at least 30 hours into that open beta alone. I mean, there's just so many things you could do that are so memorable about this game. For me, it must have been the building destructions. The fact that I would see enemies run into a building for cover, and I would have a grenade launcher underneath uh, my rifle and I would shoot at the wall that I believed that they were hiding behind, blow up that wall and taking out my target. Or even better yet, if the building took enough damage previously, my shot would actually be the final blow to take down the entire building. And you can't tell me that those weren't the best like graphics at the time. Like the fact that you can take down an entire building, not just taking out the wall or the roof and the whole frame is still up. No, literally just take out the wall, the roof, and enough damage to take out the entire frame where the entire building decides to finally collapse on itself. It's just, it's just funny to think to this day that DICE and EA still have not brought that back to its true form. Like, we're still just simply getting big buildings, walls taken out, and that's it. Not even the roofs or taking out stairs or ladders or you're implemented in the newer games. It's just the walls and that's it. Also thinking about it right now is that I also found that a lot of the gadgets and weapons I think in Bad Company were probably the best in all the Battlefield games. What I mean by that is like, I think there's probably only one or two weapons I didn't like in the game, but I know other people use them and use them very well. It was just personal preference. They weren't just completely broken with terrible stats and everyone knew it and everyone never used them. No, it, it was personal preference. All the weapons, all the gadgets, they were useful. Now it just seems like, especially with today, with 2042, I mean, even the rocket launchers just seem to be a joke now at this point. Then there was the campaign, which was probably the best campaign I've ever played, with the characters being so iconic and so funny. It just gives me that Kelly's Heroes vibe. It's pretty clear that the community, or at least in my opinion, majority of the community will have to agree that if they want to make another Battlefield game worth remembering in a good way, it would have to be another bad company. If you don't agree with me with everything I'm telling you, or you're just not sure, give it a try yourself. Get the game, try the campaign out, definitely play the multiplayer before the servers go down, and let me know what you think. Because to this day, there are still people dedicated playing on that server. I can go on that on the, the server browser any time of the day and find at least three or four servers that are full. And as always, enjoy. All right, I'll be playing some uh Battlefield Bad Company 2 before the servers officially go down. I think I'm going to start off with the Assault class. Let's see. Better enjoy all this uh, stuff while we still have it. That's pretty much all I can say now. It's really a shame. It's just how it is. You know, the M16 was a pretty beast gun. He took a lot of bullets. All right, first kill, starting off. Nice, let's go. So we're playing Rush. This is my favorite game mode out of all the Battlefield games. It even beats Conquest, and Conquest came out first. Basically, you know, it's like Breakthrough in today's uh, Battlefield. Take take the two points, but you have to set the... Uh... Oh, see, even... Yeah, you have to take the two points, but you have to set the charge on and make sure that they explode. Assault class, and the assault class actually had the uh, ammo crate, and the support with the LMGs had the me uh, med kits. But look at that, I can shoot through the destruction of these, um, 
of these fences. Boom. Wall. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, I hear a building falling. Hello. Look. There you go. Destruction. Oh, I better... I just realized the point's right here. Get my thing back. Just playing defensive. We just push up a little bit so they don't get too close to the point. It's on it. Alright, we got it. Now that one looks like it's already set. So we just gotta have to, our team defend that one. And then we push up to the next point. So just like Breakthrough, except it was a, an additional thing where you had to set the charge. You know, they obviously have it in... Battlefield 2042, but look at this, the ship and everything. Like, this could have been like 2042. They should have had this map back in. I guess they kind of did with discarded. I don't know where to go. I'm so exposed. I'm a little worried. How do I get up there again? Oh, there's, like, there's stairs here. No, he was right on top of me. I'm surprised I didn't get him. Oh, he had a shotgun. That's why. And the shotguns in this game was kind of cool because you had slug rifles that, that basically made it like a sniper rifle, practically. They were really OP. Oh, jeez. Yep, there he is again. Who's AFK? There we go, got him that time. Yeah, look at that. Uh, what is melee? That is. So cool. Oh, come on. Oh, that's wrong button. I have F as my melee on other games, and it's the middle mouse button on this game. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, yeah, we got that explosive charge planted. Everyone stand by. Alright. Made it. Let's see if we can't ride. Guy right over there. Nope, not today, dude. Ow. Oh, we just took out both points immediately. Jesus, it is chaos here. Just took out like three or four of them. Jeez, I need a minute. Shit. This is a tough spot. <laughs> Must have headshot him. Yeah, I headshot him. There you go. Got an assist. Do you even look at those rockets flying over us? Little. Not the best graphics, but I mean, I swear this game had everything. No, no, no! Don't get me. I got you, bros. All right, the heels are real. The heels are real. I didn't hit that guy. Oh, that guy. Got him. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. You can take out buildings. If the point is inside a building, you can collapse the building, which will destroy the point at the same time. Oh, jeez. He's trying to, just trying to go hardcore parkour on me. No. I wanted to get my buddy in. I got too greedy. Where 
Where's my, uh, there it is. Oh, jeez. Ow. Strike down on them. Oh, damn nades. Uh, there we go. Found him that time. This guy right up there. Come on, poke your head out. That's you. That's you. I want you. Oh. <laughs> Guess, guess I wouldn't. Guess I'm not allowed to get him. I remember how they didn't mark people on the map after you took the point. If the, you didn't, they didn't mark the defending team if they were still in the zone. So people would still, like this guy, sit right here and just try to bleed our tickets out, which I kind of liked actually. It was annoying, but. Because it didn't stop you from pushing up. You still pushed up. There was still a timer. Oh, get out of that building! Jeez, the shaking. Oh my god, that's... That's a little excessive. Nope, not today. My ping is not... Thing on this server is not forgiving for me. Yay, resupply. Nope, not today, dude. I know you threw a nade. I saw you throw a nade. Oh, you got me anyway. Oh, that's right. I forgot they have a helicopter on this map. Oh, hi. Oof. I need him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're pushing up on us so hard. That guy was already like, that was, guy was knifing. He was right on our point. Uh, let's switch back to like a red dot site. I think I got the guy that was right in front of me. I don't know if it was the guy down the hill or... I don't know how I'm not hitting that guy in the head. Alright, well, we're finally pushing up a little bit here. That's good. We have the A-plane parts? Or are we trying to destroy it with uh, rockets? We might try. I think that's what we're trying to do, because you could do that too. You could actually destroy the points with uh, C4 and um, rockets. Oh my god. Okay, right there. Let's see if I can jump down this hill. Get on the other side of these crates. Yes. Get him with the... Yeah, all right. There's another one though, right there. Yep, got him. Ooh. Jesus. Try an M14, why not? on the roof. Iron sights, a little risky for it, but why not?
King with the explosions is relentless. It never stops. Oh crap, the point is still... They still mark... Come on. Now they're just camping it. Oh. I just got knifed. Come on guys, the point. Come on guys, the point. See, if they're holding the arm button and the timer runs out because they're holding the arm button, it just goes into overtime, which I really liked. They got rid of that. They haven't had it in the past few battlefields for a while. I don't like that. They should bring it back to the old ways. Wait, the M14 collapsed, actually. I don't remember it being this good. Also helps if I actually hit people. Doesn't matter though. We we actually won. Look at this. I love these. This is such a good throwback. With these little like you win you lose. These little cinematic at the end. I liked them. Uh, they were so much fun.